Hi, this is Becky Grumlich with the Watercolor Classroom and Tuesday's Tips. Today we're going to learn how to trace. Now, I know there's a debate on whether you should draw or whether you should trace, but the fact is many artists do trace and many of you want to learn how. So that video about whether to or not, that'll be another day. Today is about tracing. And I'll tape it down on one side only. And I'll tape it down over here. And then you put transfer paper under it. This is a rather large sheet for this. Then you take a stylus, and I'm taking my stylus with the skinniest point, and you trace. I'm gonna start with this bug. And after I do my first line, I'm going to check and see how dark it is. If you're doing something like white flowers, you don't want it to be very dark. And you do want it to be dark enough, and you wanna make sure you transfer papers right side down. And you just follow the lines. And then you also follow the shadows. So that is bug and that is shadow. And here's another shadow and then that's the edge of the bug. I'm going to put this middle line in and that little glow. Every dot. Uh, we always think of dots being round on ladybugs. On this ladybug, they aren't exactly perfectly round. So I'm sort of following the shape they are. Now there's some shading on here as well. Like right around here is, it gets darker. And then um, approximately here. Then we'll go on to the leaf. It's a very charming leaf. Has a double line there, so I'm going to draw it in a little bit. I did that. Now this has some shadows too, and some shading, both, that make it look curvier, so you can draw them in too. Before you move on, you check. And okay, I forgot its antenna. And there we have a ladybug and a leaf, and the rest I'll do another time. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell and the like button, and thank you for watching.